So having got my wok really hot, I'm just adding in two or three tablespoons of oil, ordinary vegetable oil, some garlic, and two types of chilies. First, just some medium hot ones, and then just a, a little hit of bird's eye chilies, and some sliced shallots. I just stir fry those together. And nazi goreng, it just means fried rice. You can get it all over Indonesia and Malaysia as well as it happens. And if you're me, you get it all over your shirt as well. And now some carrots. You just want to take the crispness off them, but they still want to have a bit of al dente-ness to them. There we go. And now the spice paste. In that goes lovely, lots of spice paste, because that's where all the flavour comes from. And if you want to know how the paste is made, wait for it. Black pepper, sesame seeds, nutmeg, macadamia nuts, shallots, lemongrass, ginger, gallangal, garlic, fresh turmeric, chilies, palm sugar, shrimp paste, lime juice, and a little oil, all mashed together. And now a little bit of tomato puree, just to bring the colour up like that. And very important in Indonesian cooking, some ketchup manise. Obviously where the word ketchup comes from, not an American word, Indonesian. Just stir that in a little bit. And now for the rice. And it is a way of using up lots of leftovers with rice. And obviously, in that case, this is a perfect dish for turkey. So in that goes. I'm going to put some prawns in there as well, just to give it a bit of um, deluxeness, make it a really special dish. Right, now, just going to put some green beans in there, just to bring up the colour. And again, that, you know, Indonesians, like all Southeast Asians, looking for texture as well as lovely colours. And now the turkey. I've cut it into sort of inch sli slices. And this goes in right at the end because you don't want to break the turkey up. It's already cooked, of course. And a good lot of spring onions just to go in at the end so you've got that slightly raw taste of the onions. Some soy sauce, a tablespoon or so. Just stir that in very gently. And that's it except for my fried egg. This is what I had for breakfast nearly every day. The fried egg seems to make it just right. Oh, by the way, you sprinkle some slightly crispy fried onions on top of the egg, almost like a seasoning, and then you add a bit of tomato and cucumber as a garnish.